Good morning, guys. Uh, my first video of the day should have been this one point perspective um, video. And I just basically go through basic one point perspective, how to put characters in space, drawing different shapes in space, why everything goes towards the vanishing point, and then building basic forms, like building your rooms and building um, scenes with basic shapes. Uh, really basic video. I try to keep it as simple and concise as possible because perspective is so daunting, especially for me. I know it It always gave me hell when I was in school, so I wanted to make this as like the easiest way to digest perspective possible. Anyways, that aside, um, I am going to be doing an illustration using perspective. So this is just some reference I've been building up and I've been just trying to like figure out different objects and stuff I want to have in my illustration. It's always good to do some design work before you go into a major piece uh, just to like get costume bits down for your character, um, what things you're going to want in the background, um, special tools or anything that will be used uh, later on or that need to be like prominent in the illustration. Um, it's just good to like get some practice drawing them so that when they put them in the scene, uh, their detail, like these minor details that you're adding, won't be like daunting for you. So, flip the page, make sure I'm not flipping it um, too many pages, and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to just build a frame. It's always better to put whatever you're drawing in a frame. It looks nicer and it gives you something to measure off of when you're uh, drawing. Anyway, so then I decide on my horizon line and I briefly covered it in the other video. Basically the horizon line is where your vanishing point is going to be on and it's where you're looking in the image. So I'm going to have my horizon line a little bit higher. And I am going to just stick with one point perspective for now just to keep things simple. Two point perspective, um, it can be done, I just have to do a little thumbnail. And technically I should do a little tiny thumbnail of what I want to draw um, so that I know where I'm going with this whole thing. And it's always good to do miniature thumbnails and... <sighs> block in your major shapes when you are like just get yourself a layout essentially right like you want to block things in you want to make sure that things are like balanced you know what details are going to be where like you just have an idea of where you're going with the image right and this you don't have to do a lot of detail in thumbnails, you just kind of want to break down like what is going like on in your image. Anyway, okay, so breaking down. <laughs> then, see you may want to do this with a ruler, it just makes everything look neater, but because I want to get this done fast, I'm freehanding it. I don't suggest this. Um, and basically I'm just like throwing lines, giving myself a little starburst pattern, and what this is doing is it's giving me like kind of a base work on like where my lines are going to be heading. So yeah, I want that like that. That goes off the page and then, and because I'm using one point perspective, my horizontals and my verticals are going to be super easy. They're going to match up with the frame. So I don't have to worry about any other lines kind of going off into space at different points. <clears throat> Which can be an issue. Alright, let me go that. Cover is going to look a little bit weird. Now I want to build my back wall. So... I might take this and move it a little bit this way because I want the corner of the wall not to intersect with any other portion. 
So then we have the corner there, and then we'll just run a line across here and meet it up, let's say here. These are pretty shallow cupboards, but that's okay. Anyway. I'm just going to chop this back a bit. So everything's a little bit push and pull and as I'm adding in the basic shapes for the base details, I just want to make sure that everything's kind of making a like logical sense. So I'm adding in a door right here because in a kitchen, usually where the window is, there's a door somewhere near it. <laughs> anyway, and then from back here, we go down, we have that, and then we have the corner drops down here. I believe in my thumbnail I had some sort of a cupboard sticking out here, which I will put against this wall. A little spice cupboard. Now from this sketch, I can take it and I can um, basically trace it onto a good piece, like another piece of paper if I wanted to finish the illustration. But as it's just a sketch in my sketchbook, I'm just going to leave it kind of with all the construction lines and stuff. Take out that area. And we are going to build the window frame here. Okay, so doing this, so my horizon line is actually going to be where the shoulders of my character lie. So if there were any other characters in the shot, they would all have their shoulders on the horizon line as well. Um, but considering I don't have other characters in the shot, it doesn't matter too much. blocking in some more basic shapes to kind of go over. I'm just going to add cupboard doors to this so I don't have to add extraneous details there. But you can add just basic like little blobs and stuff and it just gives you an idea of what um, details you want in these areas. So I'm going to put bottles and stuff everywhere.
and considering he's a modern witch, he's got his little cauldron on a, <laughs> a hot plate in his kitchen. You want him holding his tools properly. So. Okay, so basically from here, I've got most of the details blocked in. I'm just going to add a few more items and a couple more um, areas that are going to have like some more details, like a little shelf here with some more bottles and stuff or cabinet. And basically, I'm just going to keep adding my details and making sure they line up with perspective and just tightening everything up and taking up the um, construction lines. So. By building from basic shapes, you can actually get something that's like readable. And even if your perspective isn't 100% perfect, uh, there's a Mike Mignola quote. He's like, he hated perspective, but he just would fill the scene with a bunch of stuff to hide the perspective. So use some very basic construction lines and then fill the shit out of the scene with stuff to hide it, to hide the perspective. Now, you can do more advanced stuff if you want, if you want to practice. Um, just, again, look up photography and look up, um, like, you can find things like kitchen scenes and stuff, photographs. Use reference. If you're having problems figuring out what you want to put into a space, just look up some photo reference to get some ideas. You don't have to copy it exactly, but it just helps you to trigger ideas to put into um, your scenes. This is a bit high for a jar, so I'm going to take that down a bit. Um... Yeah, so it's push and pull and just make sure that your basic construction lines work. And this is only one point perspective and you can get a pretty cool scene out of it. So start with your basics, start working up um, like a drawing uh, and yeah, kind of play with it, have fun. Don't stress about it not being perfect. It doesn't matter, especially if it's in a sketchbook it's just for you. It's you trying to figure out how to draw. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, I will chatter at you later.